Thousands of people belonging to the Panchmashali community in Karnataka took out a march to the state legislature in Belagavi last week. They had one demand that they be reclassified in the other backward classes reservation matrix. Their demand ahead of the 2023 assembly elections in Karnataka has put the BJP government of the state into a corner. So, who are the Panchmashalis? Panchmashalis are a subsect of the Veera Shaiva Lingayat community, which they claim is the single largest caste group in the state. Panchamashalis belong to the peasant community. They say that they make up around 70 to 80 percent of the Lingayat population in Karnataka. Lingayats instantly form BJP's core voter base, with leaders like B.S. Yadirappa, Jagdi Shetar, and current Chief Minister Basraj Gome hailing from the community. Yet, the Panchamashali subsects say that they have been neglected and denied the benefits of reservation, which have over the years gone to other Lingayat subcasts. Panchamashalis are demanding that they be included here in category 2A of the OBC list, which presently has 15% reservation. This is classified as more backward. This category presently has 102 communities, including Kurubas and others. Panchamashalis, however, presently fall here under category 3B. This is classified as backward. This category presently has a 5% reservation cap. And it includes not just the Veera Shaiva Lingayat subcaste, but also has Jains and Christians. If Panchmashalis are reclassified, then it will allow them to claim a higher share of the OBC reservation. The community has been raising this demand for at least two years now, with Sir Baswa Jaya Mutun Jaya leading the protests. In fact, the December 22nd rally had leaders from across party lines, including BJP's Basila Gauda, Patil Yatnal, Arvind Bellad. C.C. Patil, among others, while the Congress had M.B. Patil, Lakshmi Hebalkar, Prakash Kukheri, and others. So how did the Tanarka government respond to their demands? Following protests in 2021, the then Yadirapa government announced a three-member committee led by former High Court Judge Justice Subhash Adi to look into the demand for revising the existing reservation. But in August this year, the Karnataka High Court stayed the committee's work after the Karnataka State Backward Class Federation moved the court. The Federation argued that only the Karnataka State Commission for Backward Classes could decide which caste could be included or excluded from the list of backward classes. Thereafter, the Backward Classes Commission was asked to submit a report on the matter. Then, on December 22nd, the same day that the Panchmashali protest was planned, the Commission Chairperson Jay Prakash Hegde submitted an interim report to the state government. Chief Minister Basraj Bombay, meanwhile, has sought time to go through the interim report. But, Media reports suggest that the Commission has recommended creating a separate quota for Panchmashalis as against their demand of being included in Category 2A. In doing so, the state government could avoid upsetting the 102 communities under Category 2A while also enhancing the reservation for Panchmashalis. Whether the Burmai government goes ahead with the Commission's recommendations remains to be seen. What the Panchmashali agitation has done is to raise demands from other communities, including Bokkaligas, who are seeking an increase in reservation from 4% to 12%. The challenge for the BJP will be to navigate these demands while also ensuring that any increase in reservation will not be struck down by courts for violating the 50% ceiling set by the Supreme Court.